trash. Hardly ho, everyone. Did you watch my new music video yet? Because if you didn't, please do it now. I'm back with a normal video for all of you that hate my music. I'm not sure what to expect from this video, okay? I've seen this trend going around ordering mystery boxes online and I also saw the trend ordering makeup mystery boxes. And I seen the videos, but I didn't watch the videos, you know? Because I was like, I wanna try it and I don't wanna be spoiled. Technically, it's all different kinds of mystery boxes or are they not? Maybe they're all the same, I don't know. Because I ordered mine from Etsy for 500 euros and everybody else mostly orders them from eBay, but maybe it's like the same thing. Maybe it's all the same distributor. We're gonna find that out today. I have ordered this big box right here. It is quite a lot. I really hope there's gonna be some good brands in there. If I'm just gonna get Maybelline mascara like five times the same one, then I'm gonna be mad as hell. Obviously my task for today will be that I'm gonna do my makeup with everything that's in here. Here, even if it's bad, let's see what we got. I don't know why, but I feel special because I ordered this from Etsy and not from eBay. <laughs> this must be much better than the eBay ones. I'm pretty sure. The first thing I see, eBay lashes for one euro. <laughs> I think I literally had these. I mean, who didn't? Oh, we got a brush set from Real Techniques. That is actually not too shabby. It's three brushes. Dry. We have five makeup sponges. Five. five. I guess we're gonna store some makeup products. You know, you never know what's gonna happen. Maybe we're gonna get The Last of Us in real life, which is technically not even unrealistic anymore. So it's always good to have five makeup sponges in your cupboard. 10 hair clips. They're kind of cute. I feel like that's actually something that's very on trend. Every woman, girl, person with the long hair that I see literally has these like on the straps of their bag. Maybe not for me. Maybe actually for me. Oh, that's business. Can I get some makeup now actually? A large LED mirror. Kind of predictable, but also not bad. I mean, I literally already have an LED mirror right here that I always use, but I just never put batteries in. So it's literally just a mirror and I feel like it's gonna be the same thing with this. <laughs> we have 15 more makeup sponges. Yeah, as I said, The Last of Us is coming. If there would be The Last of Us in real life, the fungus that would be like chilling in people, it would literally come from unwashed beauty blenders. Because be honest, when did you wash your beauty blender the last time? Thoroughly, with soap, with beauty blender cleaner. We have a hydrogel eye mask, whatever that is. I mean, it's an eye mask. <laughs> oh, it's Elever. <gasps> Look, that's the brand. If you can remember, it's the same brand as my foundation stick that I've tried in my last TikTok beauty products video. I think I've actually never used eye patches. <gasps> Oh, it's so fresh. I don't get it. It's like literally on my chin already. Lip set. This is actually my first makeup product. We have a makeup bag, black and small. Some eye mask is dripping off of it. Is this an eyeshadow palette? I think I had this palette back in time. What goes around comes back around. Face masks. They look so good. So trust. Vegetable placenta. Oh my god, I have deja vu and I don't know why because I don't remember that I ever said vegetable placenta to you while showing your face mask, but apparently I do remember that. I feel weird. Placenta? Isn't that what I have in my uterus? Yes, female anatomy. <laughs> this actually looks like a Korean face mask. We do have great Korean skincare on the market so maybe this is actually good nail tips why am i getting nail tips i wanted makeup i actually wanted to get into nail art or doing my own nails not with acrylics but with gel -X, which is kind of like a beginner friendly way of doing your own nails i didn't do it yet you do need tips for that but not the usual tips you need like full on nail tips that cover your whole nail just like a press on oh oh it smells like nail salon i think that is actually a full-on nail cover. It's actually the 
same length as my nail that I have right now. What are the odds? To be honest, I literally just ordered this in order to make my own nails. Still, what are the odds that I get this right now? We actually have this UV nail glue gel and top coat. So it's like a whole set, actually. I literally just ordered this, but like from a known brand. And now I have like a not known brand, which is apparently called Sp P the fuck? <laughs> Who thought of this? We have this nail cutter. That is actually good. I don't have that. I'm actually happy about this. This is already so much better than the mystery box I ordered off of eBay. We have a setting spray by NYX. Another setting spray by Maybelline. There's a Maybelline product that I have expected. We have V-shaped face stickers. These are the ones that you put like here and here and you tie behind your head. Oh, huh. we got a face roller and this stone to use for your jawline. <laughs> I had this before and I gave it away because I didn't know what to do with it. I'm not that into skincare, so I don't use stuff like this. And I'm so glad I have this again. <laughs> we have another Maybelline eyeshadow palette. Another Maybelline eyeshadow palette. Wait, was that the same one? Pretty much the same. Can somebody please tell me what this brand is? Mi Color. It kind of looks like the Ofra highlights. We have some kind of NYX finishing powder. <gasps> is that the one that has the extreme flashback? I'm actually going to a concert after this video to the 80s concert. <laughs> So I'm kind of scared that I'm going to fuck up my makeup because I, you know, I still want to look good for 80s. 80s, so American. Oh, Black Forest Concealer Tones. <gasps> this is actual concealer. Oh no, no, I have to use this. <gasps> it smells like the concealer palette I bought when I was a teen. That is like literally my catchphrase in this video apparently, but that's just a fact. I literally had this, maybe minus these shades. Next palette, we have liquid glitter eyeliner. Excuse me. That looks like something for crafts. You cannot be for real. The W7 Lift and Sculpt Palette. W7? Maybe you all still remember W7 Palette. And it was actually dope for the Naked Palette from Urban Decay. And it was literally just $5 or something. That was my shit back then. And I bet like 80% of you watching right now also had this palette. That is cream. <gasps> crazy hey we got a some kind of storage thing i honestly don't know where to put it exactly but this could be useful it's not too ugly oh my god we have one last product in here wait is that a fake or is that the actual anastasia modern renaissance palette i mean this is like 50 bucks or something i love that i didn't do my eyebrows and my foundation just so i can do my makeup with everything that's in here but there isn't even anything in there to do that with <laughs> let's get this makeup video started. I just did my foundation and my brows and I got my very famous infamous Claire's ears on. You know what? As much as I would love to go in with this beautiful palette, I think I'm gonna go with my trusty old W71. We do have quite some shades in there which will be perfect for my skin tone I think. I probably just have this one palette for all skin tones let's be honest. <laughs> I'm gonna use my brush set. Oh, it's bright. Let's hope this is just gonna be a great formula. <laughs> Long wearing, not creasing. I'm really praying for that. <laughs> I don't know if the palette smells bad or the brush. I think both. Both, both, both. Oh my God, I already hate the way it looks on my skin. I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> crusty dusty. Let's go into the contour shades. They're very subtle, the contour shades. So, you know, it's doing its job. Oh, this is a bit orange on my forehead. Yeah, it's definitely quite an orange bronzer. They actually all look the same. I'm gonna use my own brush for some nose contour. Oh, that's actually quite pigmented with this brush. I think the brush was just the problem. This is actually not bad for nose contouring. Look how good this looks. Just wish I could blend it a bit more. It's not that blendable. I guess this is gonna be my liquid blush. Is it though? I don't even know if this is supposed to be blush. I think it is because it's like highlighter and this maybe color corrector. Just gonna load the brush. Huh? 
something maybe a little bit seven years ago i would have eaten this up broccoli if you see me at the 80s concert looking all kinds of fucked up you know at least why <laughs> okay i think next would be this to set to the beautiful base that i just created but i have researched okay okay this is actually the powder that has the strongest flashback ever i still remember it from my times when this came out and like people were like going crazy about this but not in a good way i think i will be taking some pictures at the 80s concert and also some pictures with flash and i really don't want to end up looking like james charles so i'm very sorry but i'll have to pass on this product so i'm just gonna set this with my huda beauty powder real quick and pretend nothing happened i've actually ordered some bigger powder puffs because i've heard the bigger ones are like way better for setting your makeup and not these ones which is like a 10 pack and they're just i thought they're all the same but i learned they're not oh i have so much cat hair in my face last week i visited marvin at home and also did his makeup for a video every time i just applied something on his face there was some kind of cat hair attached to it <laughs> what can i do inevitable inevitable it looks really crusty here my skin looks very dry i have so many eyeshadow palettes and they all look the same <laughs> by the way i found my old anastasia modern renaissance palette there she is and this is the new one <laughs> I can't believe it once has looked like this and now it looks like this. Here's the inside. I would be stupid to not use the Anastasia palette. I mean, this is kind of cool. We have an e.l.f. palette. I know it's not like super expensive, but e.l.f. is definitely a good brand. It has some good products. I don't know if all the products are good. Maybe I'll just see what it can do with my great eyeshadow brush. Honestly, there's just this one matte shade in there. Oh, it's doing what it's doing. I hate this brush, but I guess it does get the job done quickly. The eyeshadow is actually not that bad. I, I mean, it's a very light brown. That's why you can't really see it that well, but that's just the shade. I think it's, it, I don't think it's the pigment. I'm actually gonna go in with mine and not with the new one because I think I'm gonna give this away at the end of this video. It would be kind of sad to dip into it, even though I have the other one right here and it's just working as good. I'm definitely gonna go into the pink because i don't know if you've noticed but i like pink recently damn this palette really revolutionized makeup back then i mean anastasia was also like very hyped i don't think they're that hyped anymore i at least am not hyped about new product launches i just keep buying their dip brow because it's just my comfort brow product but this modern renaissance palette it did something i love that i'm just using half of the brush it really brings me back to 2016 and i was so fucking excited when i was just able to afford this palette because it's still a lot of money and i think i've just gotten into makeup like i think right after i finished school and i mean i did have my job but it was just like a mini job and i didn't get a lot of money so you know i did not have all the resources but when i started doing youtube and i started doing makeup videos i realized i need cool makeup that i could show and and I really had like this goal that I want to be like all these American YouTubers, Nicole Guerrero, Harley Bible, and like have this Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and liquid lipsticks. I've been that girl that watched all of these makeup collections. That was literally my goal to have like this huge makeup collection. Technically, it's fucking insane. This hoarding and you can't even use that much makeup, but it's just what it's just what i wanted to be back then i wish this would be even more pink and i wish i had a different brush for this just gonna blend it out like crazy. oh just to get a little bit of variety i'm gonna dip into the elf palette again into this you can see i already swatched it <laughs> expo and i'm just gonna apply this on my eye with my finger. Oh, my under eye is so crusty. I can't even look. Don't look at me. Are we ready to try out these glitter eyeliners, which look like arts and crafts project? I don't want to go into the pink one. Let me just draw a little line here. That's actually not that bad. That's actually very pretty. I just don't like the way I applied it. It's kind of random, this line. But that's actually kind of a pretty glitter eyeliner. It gives Claire's vibes, but honestly... Kind of impressed. This definitely needs a long time to dry. I can still feel the liner being super wet. I think now it's time for lashes. A broccoli has to do what a broccoli 
has to do. I just set like a tiny little wing. I have worked with these lashes a lot because these were the lashes that I had. There was no other option. They are so hard to handle because this lash band is like so not flexible. They definitely feel a bit better than the ones I used. They feel a bit more flexible. I think the ones that I had were definitely way worse. Honestly, not too bad. You definitely need that liner to blend them. They do look a little wonky, but not too bad. I really expected worse. I cannot. This eyeshadow look already reminds me of 2016 so much. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution palette now. This shade right there for my bronzer or... That's nice. But I actually think I had this palette and I also used it a lot. I think I didn't have powder blush. So I guess I'm just gonna go in with the Anastasia palette and with the shade I applied on my eyelid. I like it. I just hate how the foundation looks on my nose. Ugh. But I still want to use the Mi Color highlighter palette. Maybe a little bit dark for me, the shade range. I'm gonna go into the lightest one. That is literal glitter. <laughs> this is the glitterly highlighter that I've ever put on my face. I think it's a no for me for this one, unless you want to have that intense glitter on your face, but just be careful, okay? I'm just gonna use the NYX Dewy Matte Finish Makeup Setting Spray. There's a hair on my nose, I can feel it. The only thing we've got left to use is the Handayan Lip Kit. Ah, we got a little lipstick collection. I just have no idea if this is matte gloss. It doesn't say. I guess I'm just gonna go in with this shade because it kind of matches my whole vibe right now. <laughs> it's so small. It smells like watermelon. Very, very intense watermelon. I did not expect that. This is gonna be a liquid lipstick that dries down to the most powdery and dry finish ever. The watermelon is so strong. Yeah, this is a liquid lipstick, a matte one. Do not like it, but it's honestly not horrible. My lips don't stick together, dries down very quickly. I found this gloss in my lip set and it's kind of Glittery? Pinky? Uh. Ah. This is also supposed to be liquid lipstick. It doesn't feel like gloss. It's the same texture as the lip I just applied. That's weird. That's suspicious. I look so 2000. 16 kind of i mean not 100 percent, but still the vibe especially because i use so many 2016 products i feel like i need to do these kinds of dubstep beauty youtuber intros now <laughs> <laughs> this was actually not too bad. I really, really, really expected worse. I don't necessarily think we are at 500 euros, all of this content. I think it's at max, really, really at max 300 euros. So I don't know if this is worth it. I think this is honestly just a YouTuber thing to order these boxes. I'm very pleasantly surprised, but maybe also just because my expectations were so low because of my eBay mystery box video. Hey, we got a bottle opener. Do we still need one? No. I'm just happy with my glitter eyeliners. Very, very pleasantly surprised with these. I might actually use them in my daily makeup routine. <laughs> and obviously the Anastasia palette in there is great. I think it's still their best palette. Maybe it's also my emociones and the melancholy I get when I just look at this palette, but I just love it. So as promised, I'm gonna give this away. If you think you don't need it just because it's a very old palette, believe me, you need it. I think I'm also gonna give away all the other palettes because I don't need them. I mean, 
mean, if somebody wants this, you can also comment. Maybe someone with a darker complexion who just really loves glitter. I think this could actually be great as body glitter, maybe. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do like one or two boxes with all of this makeup because I just don't need it. Except the glitter eyeliners. I'm gonna gatekeep them. <laughs> if you want some of these products, just comment down below what you want. You can also comment, I want something. I don't care what it is. I'm gonna pack something nice for you. That was this video. I'm quickly gonna go see 80s live now. I'm already late and um, I don't I don't know if I'm gonna leave like this to be honest I think I need my own lashes and a bigger eyeliner <laughs> I cannot let them see me like this what will they think of me don't forget to follow me on all of my social media which is Naomi John on Instagram Naomi John on TikTok and the Naomi John on Twitter oh yeah listen to San Valentine and have a great evening and life goodbye I gotta run now business.